हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सक्सेस यात्रा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एरिया सब डिविजन एल्गोरिदम इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल कवर अबाउट द थोरेटिकल पार्ट ऑफ एरिया सब डिविजन एल्गोरिदम इट्स डायग्रामेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड अ टेस्ट दैट आर परफॉर्म्ड इन दिस एल्गोरिदम एंड नाउ बिगनिंग विद द टॉपिक एरिया सब डिविजन एल्गोरिदम इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वैरनॉक्स एल्गोरिदम ओके बिकॉज इट वॉज डेवलप बाय वैरनॉक नाउ एरिया सब डिविजन मेथड यूजेज इमेज स्पेस मेथड वट इज इमेज स्पेस मेथड इमेज स्पेस मेथड इज अ मेथड इन विच द विजिबल सर्फिस डिटेक्शन इज डन बाय कंपेयरिंग द पिक्सल ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टेड इमेज ओके you it uses area coherence property now why we use area coherence property it is used to decrease its calculation the calculations that we perform in area subdivision algorithm can be decreased using area coherence property strategy strategy of this algorithm is to divide and conquer this method is applied to successively divide the total viewing area into smaller and smaller rectangles until each small area is the projection of the part of a single visible surface or no surface at all now what we mean by the strategy divide and conquer for example we have a rectangular area now in that rectangular area if there are multiple polygons that we will do um, after few minutes if there are multiple polygon i will tell you the uh, uh, diagrammatical representation of that if there are multiple polygons in one rectangle so the figure become complex and it become complex to detect the visible surface so what we do is we divide the area into smaller parts so as to make the complex so as to decrease the complexity to de detect the visible surface okay now coming to the to uh, implement this method we need to establish test we apply the test to determine whether we should subdivide the total area into smaller rectangles now what we do is before applying uh, subdivision we perform some test to check whether there is need for subdivision or not if the test indicates wait if the test indicate the view is sufficiently complex we subdivide it okay after performing the test if the result of the test is that the view uh, we are looking for or the visible surfaces that we are detecting is difficult to detect then what is need to be done subdivision of the area to decrease the complexity next we apply the test to each of the smaller areas subdividing these if the test indicates the visibility of a single surface is still uncertain now if one time we have divided the area after dividing also if the complexity does not decrease then what we have to do is we have to further subdivide that area now until what point we can subdivide the area until we reach the size of pixel we continue this process until we achieve the size of single pixel see now i have represented it in the form of diagram for example this is a rectangular area now if we uh, in this case if we consider that it is difficult to detect the visible surface then what we do is we divide the area into sub parts and after dividing also if we think that in this area it is uh, yet difficult to detect the visible surface then we subdivide this area and further subdivision can be done until the size of a single pixel is achieved okay now there are few relationship between polygon and area they can be of four types first when the polygon is completely surrounding the area here the uh, area is in the black marker and uh, with the blue pen that i have marked is a polygon in the first part the area is completely surrounded by the polygon okay in the second part the uh, polygon is overlapping the area the polygon is intersecting with the area okay in the third case the polygon is completely inside the area it is lying completely inside the area in the fourth case the polygon is completely outside the area these are the four relationship that can be achieved between the polygon and the 
area okay now they have further cases for example in case 1 when the polygon is totally outside the area then what will be the color of the area the color of the area will be color of its own background as there is no role of polygon in this area so area will have the color of its own background okay now uh, overlapping surface and inside surface both uh, point to the same case okay in this case but um, it is done that the part of the area that is covered by the polygon has the color of the polygon for example this one this part has the color of the polygon and the part of the area which is not covered by the polygon has its own background color see case to color of background and polygon both these cases combine to color this okay now coming to case 3 in case 3 as you can see that whole uh, uh, area is surrounded by the polygon so obviously uh, area will be filled by the color of the polygon okay it will be filled by the color of polygon case 3 color of the surrounding polygon okay now coming to case 4 the cases that we have done before it has only one polygon linked with the area but the further cases uh, cases come that in which area is linked with multiple polygons in this case it is difficult to detect the visible surface for this reason we perform area subdivision for example there are more than one cases in uh uh linked with this area so we have to subdivide this part in order to make it easy to understand or detect the visible surface okay the test that are performed in area subdivision method in order to check whether there is need for subdivision or not first all surfaces are outside with respect to area okay before doing the test let me tell you if any of these test is true then there is no requirement of subdivision but if all three test comes to be false then there is requirement for subdivision first test is all surfaces are outside with respect to area second only one inside surrounding overlapping surface is in the area a surrounding surface completely obscures all other surfaces in the area if any of these test is true then no subdivision is required in this case why we have subdivided the area because uh, see it is written only one inside surrounding and overlapping but in this case there are two overlapping one inside and one surrounding it is uh, this condition all these three conditions are false for this case so that's why we have done area subdivision in order to decrease the complexity okay that's it for this tutorial if you like my video please subscribe my channel and wait for uh, new videos thank you